So far from what I've seen, the top three ideas that I think are going to be absolutely massive is Project Groundwater and Gateshead Council have been working on this with us. So this has been all about how we can stop people having flooded properties, flooded land. So it's all about how we can best manage that terrible experience of people and how we can actually mitigate that risk. And they have come up with some amazing ideas that will stop this flooding happening and also They've linked up with another sprint to see how actually we can join a few other things up and how we can maximise the use of our networks, which will make it an even more impactful project. So really love that, that they've bridged across a couple of ideas to really make something really impactful. So a lot of it is really unblocking about the, the collaboration barriers. That's in firm, first and foremost what we're looking at. What are the outcomes we're working towards? Because there's a lot of technological solutions out there, but first off, it's about collaboration. So just explain to me a little bit in more detail. Is this an app? Is it software? Is it a product? It actually can be multiple things. So I've talked about a single point of contact, but we need something that's actually accessible to anyone, whether it's a telephone or an app. So it could be multiple things, but the idea is it's feeding into a single point of database that allow other people to act off that information. And then we have the Siemens Power Arrangers Sprint, and they've been looking at how, as a water sector, we can reduce our energy consumption. Because in order to run our operations, we are a little bit power hungry and we use quite a lot of it. And this is not very good on many fronts. So if we are able to reduce the amount of energy that we use, we can make our, our business more effective and it will cost less, but also very important, it will be reducing our carbon footprint, which is a huge win for the environment. So we're all over that and we've got big hopes for that one. Our idea is how do you, how do you take the different technologies that might exist at sites and the different geographies around clean water treatment sites and try and take them off the grid, try and make them more resilient by bringing in new green technologies, by overlaying a digital twin so that you can then start to think about actually if we have a solar site and we generate power, where can we use that power most effectively? It's, it's really about making sure that we use software and green technologies in the right way to get the most effective use of that energy supply. But then it's about really how do we connect the existing stuff into some kind of digital twin. So how do we how do we visualize what we've got today? That's step one. And the final step is then, how do you then scale it? So how do you take a little bit of solar and make it a lot of solar? How do you take a bit of hydro and make it a lot of hydro? And then connect all that up to batteries so that you've got available power all the time, at the right time, at the right price, so that you don't have to avoid producing water in high cost times. The other one is looking at how we can help people get access to knowledge about jobs. There are lots of people out there who are looking for jobs and we want to make this an easy experience for people. The sprint that is happening by Esri is all about the map opportunity and they've brought lots of different people together to actually create this map and they've done it this week. It's already there. So I'm really excited about where, how they're going to take that one forward and I think that this is going to make a really big difference to our local communities. We've already presented a an example of what we think that this app could look like and just getting to listen to feedback, figuring out not only what's possible within the next few days but where people are envisioning this to go in the next few years if it's successful has been really inspiring. This is what we think an interface could look like where depending on what people find important about the jobs, whether it's they're looking for specific lifestyle requirements like nearby parks or places of worship or if they're just focused on transport in the company that's nearby. We have a career page so that as users want to have a mentor or if they're learning more about um, where their career could go, they have resources and so we're just trying to build something up that's engaging and that's easy to use.